10 Types of People You Should Avoid Befriending How to Recognize and Steer Clear of Negative Influence Everyone strives for harmony and emotional balance in life, and choosing the right people to surround yourself with plays a key role in this. Friendship is about support, mutual trust, and warmth. However, not all the people we meet can bring joy and positivity into our lives. Some types of individuals can have a destructive influence. How can we recognize them? and which types of people may lead to emotional exhaustion. Let's find out. 1. The Selfish Detailed Description Selfish people are those who constantly prioritize their own needs, desires, and feelings above everyone else's. They rarely show interest in other people's experiences or emotions, and if they do, it's often because they stand to gain something from the interaction. These people might appear charming or engaging at first, but over time, their disregard for others becomes evident. Example of a selfish person. Imagine you have a friend, Anna, who frequently invites you to events or asks for favors, but when you need support or companionship, she's always too busy or uninterested. If Anna needs help moving, she expects you to drop everything to assist her. But when you ask for a simple favor, like a ride to the airport, she finds an excuse not to help. Anna only values the friendship as long as it serves her. Advice. Set boundaries. Clearly define what you're willing to do and not do for them. Observe their behavior. If they consistently fail to reciprocate or make an effort in your friendship, it's a sign to reconsider the relationship. Avoid confrontation but speak up. Politely express how you feel when they consistently prioritize themselves over you. If their attitude doesn't change, it's best to distance yourself. 2. Constant Complainers Detailed Description These individuals live in a perpetual state of dissatisfaction. They endlessly complain about their jobs, relationships, health, and almost anything else without ever trying to change or improve their circumstances. Instead of seeking solutions, they are content to dwell in negativity, drawing others into their negative spiral. Example of a constant complainer. You have a friend, John who constantly talks about how miserable his life is. Every time you meet, John spends hours venting about his bad day at work, issues with his partner, or how life has treated him unfairly. You've offered him advice countless times, suggesting solutions, or simply encouraging him to look at things more positively, but he dismisses every suggestion. Instead, he thrives on self-pity. Advice, limit exposure. Reduce the amount of time you spend around them if their complaints are affecting your mood. Redirect the conversation. When John starts complaining, try to steer the conversation to a more positive topic or ask what steps he's taking to improve the situation. Encourage action. Offer constructive feedback like, I understand it's tough, but what do you think you can do to change things? 3. The Envious. Detailed Description. Envious people are never truly happy for other successes. When someone they know achieves something, it makes them feel inadequate or resentful. Instead of celebrating their friends' achievements, they diminish or critique them. Envy often leads to passive-aggressive comments or competitive behavior. Example of an envious person. You've recently started a new business, and your friend Sarah doesn't seem excited for you. When you tell her about a big milestone you reached, Instead of congratulating you, she says, well, anyone can succeed in today's market. You just got lucky. Rather than celebrate your success, Sarah is always trying to bring you down by making such dismissive comments. Advice, observe their reactions. If you consistently feel like your achievements are being minimized, it's a red flag. Be cautious with sharing. Limit how much personal success you share with them to avoid feeding their jealousy. Confront the behavior calmly. You could say, it seems like you're downplaying my accomplishment. Is something bothering you? This may open the door to a more honest conversation. 4. The Manipulators. Detailed Description. Manipulators are skilled at playing on others' emotions to get what they want. They often make you feel guilty, indebted, or obligated to fulfill their requests, even if it's inconvenient or unreasonable for you. Over time, you might feel emotionally drained as you're constantly trying to please them or avoid their guilt trips. Example of a manipulative person. Your friend Mike always uses subtle guilt to get his way. For instance, he'll say things like, 
if you were really my friend, you'd help me out with this. Or, I did this favor for you last year, remember? He constantly reminds you of past favors or guilt trips you into doing things for him, even when it's against your own interests. Mike frames every request as if you owe him something, making you feel obligated. Advice. Recognize the signs. If someone always makes you feel like you owe them or makes you feel bad for saying no, it's manipulation. Firmly decline. Politely say no without justifying or over-explaining. For example, I'm sorry, but I can't help you with this today. Stand your ground. Manipulators may push boundaries. Consistently reinforcing your boundaries is the best way to handle them. 5. The Liars Detailed Description Dishonesty erodes trust, the very foundation of friendship. Some people lie to protect themselves, inflate their image, or even manipulate others. But over time, these lies accumulate and make it difficult to maintain a healthy, trusting relationship. Example of a liar. Your friend, Steve frequently lies about his whereabouts or makes up stories to make himself look better. Once, he told you he couldn't meet up because he had an important family event, but you later find out he spent the evening with other friends. Steve also likes to embellish his achievements, making it hard to tell where the truth ends and the lies begin. Advice, call out dishonesty. When you catch them in a lie, gently confront them. For instance, I heard you were with friends that night, even though you said you had a family event. What's going on? Evaluate the relationship. If lying is a pattern and they show no signs of changing, it's a sign that the friendship isn't built on mutual respect or trust. Consider walking away. Some people will never stop lying. If their dishonesty is causing you stress or frustration, it might be time to end the relationship. 6. The Parasites. Detailed Description. Parasites are people who constantly take without giving anything in return. They drain your time, energy, or resources, leaving you feeling exhausted or used. Whether it's always borrowing money without paying it back, relying on your help for every small task, or consistently asking for your emotional support without reciprocating, these individuals thrive on one-sided relationships. They are not interested in a balanced friendship and often use manipulation to maintain their parasitic behavior. Example of a parasite. Your friend Alex frequently borrows money, asking for small amounts here and there, promising to pay it back but never actually doing so. He constantly asks you to help him with things like fixing his computer or driving him somewhere. But whenever you ask him for a favor, he suddenly becomes unavailable or disinterested. Alex treats your generosity as something he's entitled to without offering any gratitude or help in return. Advice. Set limits. Politely but firmly decline unreasonable requests. For example, I can't lend you money this time, but I hope you can find another solution. Demand reciprocity. If they ask for favors, ask them for something in return. For instance, sure, I can help you move, but could you assist me with my project next week? Don't feel guilty. Parasites thrive on making you feel obligated. Recognize that it's okay to say no without feeling bad about it. 7. The Dramatic Personalities Detailed Description Dramatic personalities thrive on conflict and emotional chaos. They are often involved in constant drama, be it in their personal relationships, work life, or even trivial matters. These people seek attention and validation through their dramatic behavior, often dragging their friends into their turbulent situations. Instead of solving problems calmly and rationally, they escalate situations, turning minor inconveniences into major crises. Example of a dramatic person. Your friend Emily is always involved in some sort of drama, whether it's constant fights with her romantic partner or problems with coworkers. She calls you in tears, expecting you to drop everything and help her solve the latest conflict. She often exaggerates problems, making them seem worse than they are. If Emily doesn't get the reaction she wants from you, she might accuse you of not being a good friend for not supporting her emotionally. Advice, stay calm and detached. Don't let yourself get emotionally dragged into their chaos. A simple, calm response like, I'm sorry you're going through this, but I'm not sure I can help, can set a healthy boundary. Encourage problem solving. Instead of engaging in their drama, ask, 
What do you think you can do to improve the situation? This can redirect them towards finding solutions. Limit exposure. If their constant drama becomes overwhelming, it's okay to step back from the relationship and protect your own emotional well-being. 8. The Pessimists. Detailed Description. Pessimists see the world through a negative lens, and no matter what happens, they focus on the worst possible outcomes. Their negative mindset can become contagious, pulling others down into a similar state of despair. These individuals rarely celebrate positive moments, and instead, they find something to criticize or worry about. Over time, their constant negativity can drain the emotional energy of those around them. Example of a pessimist. Your friend Jake always expects the worst. When you tell him about an exciting vacation you've planned, instead of being happy for you, he responds with something like, I bet it'll rain the whole time, or flights always get delayed, so don't get your hopes up. Whenever you share good news, Jake dismisses it with a cynical comment, making it hard to stay enthusiastic around him. Advice, limit negative conversations. If you notice the conversation turning negative, gently steer it in a more positive direction. For example, I understand your concerns, but let's focus on the bright side. Don't take it personally. Recognize that their pessimism is a reflection of their worldview, not a judgment on you or your experiences. Surround yourself with positivity. While it's okay to be there for a pessimistic friend, balance it by spending time with people who have a more positive outlook on life. 9. The Betrayers Detailed Description Betrayers are those who violate your trust. Whether it's gossiping behind your back, breaking a promise, or revealing something personal you shared in confidence, betrayers cause deep emotional pain. They may act friendly and supportive, but their actions show that they prioritize their own interests above loyalty. Betrayal can come in many forms, from small acts of disloyalty to more significant breaches of trust, such as cheating or lying. Example of a betrayer. Imagine you share a personal struggle with your friend Sophie, confiding in her about a sensitive issue. A few days later, you find out that she told mutual friends, despite promising to keep it between the two of you. When you confront Sophie, she downplays her actions, saying, I didn't think it was a big deal, or I didn't mean to hurt you. Advice, assess the situation. If this is a one-time mistake, consider having an honest conversation about how their betrayal affected you and see if they're willing to make amends. Don't excuse their behavior. If betrayal becomes a pattern, it's important to recognize that this person may not be capable of maintaining a healthy, loyal relationship. Protect your emotional health. If the betrayal was severe, it might be necessary to distance yourself from this person or end the friendship entirely. 10. Rude and aggressive people. Detailed description. Rude and aggressive people are those who often exhibit controlling, dismissive, or offensive behavior. They may criticize you in front of others, belittle your achievements, or react with anger when they don't get their way. Their aggressive nature can manifest in different ways, from sharp, sarcastic comments to outright hostile or demeaning language. In the long run, their behavior can cause significant emotional damage as they make you feel inferior or intimidated. Example of a rude and aggressive person. Your friend Mark frequently criticizes you, often under the guise of joking. He might say things like, you're always late, what's wrong with you? Or, wow, you finally did something right for once. His comments, whether meant seriously or in jest, make you feel bad about yourself. If you try to address his behavior, Mark dismisses your concerns, claiming you're being too sensitive or can't take a joke. Advice, confront calmly. Address the issue directly but in a calm manner. For example, I didn't appreciate that comment. It made me feel disrespected. Avoid escalation. If they react aggressively, stay calm and avoid matching their hostility. If necessary, walk away from the situation. Distance yourself. If rude or aggressive behavior continues despite your attempts to set boundaries, it's important to protect yourself by limiting contact or even cutting ties altogether. These types of people, whether they drain your resources, thrive on drama, or cause emotional harm, can have a significant negative impact on your mental health and overall happiness. It's important to recognize these behaviors early on and take steps to protect yourself. 
ensuring that your friendships are healthy, supportive, and mutually beneficial.